magical thing. Anyone within this box? Fortitude. Oh, this man. what? The fortitude. This is how I die. <laughs> Found your weakness. Oh yeah, you know you're you're, you're fucked with this. You're the closest one. Are you? F okay, monk. This is how you die as well. <laughs> it's not dying, monk. monk. Your turn. No. Have fun. You need a fort, oh. dude. You need a good fort. No. Is we all got forted on. Yeah, you had to the pass way of whatever is gonna happen to Woken to you and take his uh, damage for myself. The two knights didn't. The two knights didn't have to. The two knights didn't pass theirs, but like it did. He had to pass a 15 for this. And he doesn't do damage. But anyone who is in that box that managed that did not pass a 15 is stunned for two people's turns. <laughs> Meaning, until the like it comes back around, no one can do shit. GG. So, blep, blep. So, get me a snack. Yep. Who's going to go get a snack? Phase on. Yeah, phase on. Okay. Um, the Legate's going to pop his shield up a little bit, and he's going to reach into his magic sack that he has, and he's going to pull out a javelin, and he's going to throw it at him. Does he hit? That is... 15? Yeah, that's 15. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay. Two of these knights can't do shit. <laughs> this knight can do shit as he picks up. Hang on, which one is this? This is the one in the back. Um, the blue one. Yeah. Uh, the blue guy here is going to take another shot. It does four damage because these fuckers aren't meant to use arrows. Greeny is stunned and then it's the captain. Being honest, the yeah, I know. Uh, wait, did it stun the captain or no? No, not the captain. He wasn't in the square. Yeah, oh, okay. So. Captain. Uh, this guy was in the square, so he's fucked. Wait, no, actually, he can... Nah, I'm just gonna keep him fucked. Um, captain. Being one of the only three that didn't get affected by this. Is going to basically reach over... He's basically going to stab his sword into the ground, reach over, and do small little, like, bongo drum-looking things. He's going to bang both of the two knights in the back of the head, try to get them to focus. <laughs> and that ends up doing two damage to both of them. God damn it. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> it, was, it was a coin flip to see if it was going to do damage at all, and he did do damage, so. Uh, phase on, waiting for you, my magical friend. He, he was stunned. It was up until the Legate got his turn, and the knights themselves have to suffer three because these are recruit knights. They suck. Hey guys, you should. Someone should be a Sukogami. Let's let them choose their template. I'm just gonna say that, but at the same time, I will probably have. I will probably sit down with both of them and go through their stuff and figure out templates for them. We'll help them with that, anyways. As I'm a nice person, and I'm gonna help them. Become overpowered as shit. I mean, my class isn't overpowered. It's, it's just like, I mean, it will be later on when I actually, you know, take time to eat stuff. But starting out, the be the the only thing that's real, I'm really getting a bonus from is the fact that I can bite someone and curse them, <laughs> and that's about it. Phase on, are you here? Phase on, phase off. Uh, we're just gonna skip his turn. So that way we can keep uh, the thing going. Unless phase on's here. Oh. Phase on. He's Come ready. closer. Just whenever he comes back, I guess he can take his turn whenever he comes. Hey, yep. Dospawn is online. Turn. I'll just let him. Das Vaughn is online, he's just not in the game. Yeah, I know. Das Vaughn has been online for a while. Is this good? Is, is, are we going to have much more after this encounter? Because I actually have to work tomorrow. Same. And we started um, really late. Oh, face on your back. 
Kind of. I, I guess like I left because like I'm stunned. Okay, I'm gonna eat. I'm stunned for two rounds. No, you're not exactly stunned. I'm not stunned anymore. It was oh. only till the leg it got uh until it was only till the, it got around to the leg it's turn that two knights actually had to suffer three turns of that unless they got a morale boost, which is just getting hit in the back of the head by their captain. Um, but no, uh -huh. it, you you got out of that relatively quickly because oh, you know my... you, weren't, okay. you weren't a well, knight and you didn't roll two. Oh my god, let's think. What can I do here? I, I kind of feel like getting into melee range with this thing is a bad idea. Uh, he doesn't have his uh, attack of opportunity anymore. He's gonna he's gonna run up. I guess what he's gonna do because he's a one trick pony. Um. Oh, me too. I don't know if I try to grapple him, actually. Punching would be a better idea. Yeah, my punch does 1d6, though. It's like the meme star punch. I mean, it's still, yeah, it's still. Plus damage, strength. Though. Yeah, it is plus strength. Bear with me. Um, I know it, his AC is 23. His I AC is 23. I have a plus 4 to hit. Okay. Oh, I roll four. a 19 or a 20. I'm going to roll. Well, no, I think grapple means like. What, what's the difference between grapple and sizes? He's large? Yeah, he's a large creature. Oh yeah, so grappling him is pretty much is harder than hitting. Him. No, grappling him is easier than hitting him for me specifically because I'm a Tatori. Oh yeah. Which is ridiculous, right? You won't be able to do that to the bigger creep. Yeah. <laughs> um, and now I'm gonna reposition him. I see. Because I can reposition him. That's the rule. That's the, like, okay, you grapple him, you can yeah. move him to any adjacent space. I'm gonna move that stupid hoe over here. One of the specific things about this movement. Is that it does not provoke attack opportunity, but I'm just like, Argh! and then as my free action, because I get a free action because I complete the grapple, I'm going to perform a single unarmed strike. This he this loses um four screams. to dex. He loses um four to dex. So whatever his AC is, minus two. No. Oh, you hit him anyway. My God. Boom. Once you get into melee range, mate, you are just. Uh, and if, if you're still doing the rule, add 16 to that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Someone was hiding something under their sleeve, Mr. You. I, I move at 20 feet per round. The reason why I couldn't do anything is because I can't move. And I think it's this is my first attack of the game. I'll uh, be right back. I'm going to need a little bit of chicken. Oh, boy, chicken. But yeah, welcome to McCain. Um, okay. So... As mine is 16. But yeah, as this cat is flung with this rock monster, it screams, Row! which roughly translates to, What the fuck is this rock creature? It's referring, it's referring to the one that just removed the giant one, not. Oh my bad. One more thing. One more thing. One more thing. I want to do one more thing. Type it. Type it. That's the end of my turn. I'll be right back. Hey, do you have a, um, toss? do you have a template on your character? Yes. Okay, what is it? It's a template. Is it a good template? It's an okay template. Oh, okay, because uh, if you didn't have one, I would say get uh, Beast to Chaos, because you get a plus four to AC. Um... It's on, it, it, but you can only put it on animals, though, so that's the problem. What's that called? Um... Beast of Chaos. Perfect strike. Oh, uh, and all your D, uh, all your hit die become D tens. You you basically become immune to confusion. Hold animal, hold monster. What a shame. And you get a spell resistance. Wait, he grappled. Does any of those hit when he's grappled? Um. And you gain two special attacks. I could also rage. Yeah, and you can rage. But you also get a negative four to AC. I am going to say, with him being, I'm going to say, with him being grappled, his defense does drop by ten, for reasons. Your um, charisma. Well, I mean, he loses his dexterity to to hits when grappled. I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. whatever his dex bonus is, that's just gone. He's flat footed, basically, isn't he flat footed? I believe so. Yeah. So, yeah, no, but I think the I think the 16 and the 18 hit. Yeah, the 16 and the 18 hit. So both of your freaking crits hit him. Those weren't even crits. No, I would do max damage, though. 
Um, so your max 30. damage hit him. Um, oh. What a big opportunity here. Danny? Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. You're, you're okay. It's okay, I just... Uh... Alright. Oh. At the 28 versus AC, plus 16 for his damage. Uh, 16 on his floor. That's 20. Is he dead yet? Oh, hold on. And then I'm just gonna like, after I move action, I'm just gonna move up a little bit. Um. All right then. Um, not gonna say his health. That's the end How of your bad turn. Does he look? Is that the end of your turn, Lee? Z? Uh, yeah, on a scale of one to one hundred, how does he? Fuck! Can I say words? Sorry, sorry. That's the end of my turn. Okay. Um, Draken takes his spear out of the ground, and seeing the info that he does, gets his spear back into the ground, and waits. Very sorry, I'm back. I felt the air rise up in me. Down the cliff, the stone of it. <sighs> Broken, it's your turn. I'm a load in my character seat. Um, I... You know, the only one that actually fucked over was with the stun thing was just me. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Uh, I'm gonna bat the fuck out of him. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you you know that bite? <laughs> it did nothing. It, it, you, it did nothing, as in... Um... It's kinda... Yeah. I mean, it didn't curse Xander's him, shot, but... Xander's shot put him at two health. Nice. You'd like to know this creature's stats before we move on to the yeah, town? Yeah, I would go. love to know. Okay. The creature had 200 health. Okay. Oh, okay. The AC of 23. He had three unique moves to him. And Wait, we were what lucky kind, what we didn't level, see the third. What kind of level creature are we talking about here? Version of them. They're also the babies. Also, they're also the babies. And his exoskeleton, which is made of stone, by the way. Which means... If you come across a father or a mother, you're going to be in for a hell of a fight. Now I'm going to bite him. I'm going to bite him real good. Good luck with that. But um, he had three unique moves to him. His first move was, of course, him throwing that rock. His second unique move was that roar. And his third unique was actually a move that he was going to use if he could have gotten his next move, if he could have gotten into the next hit, which was a massive hit that I'm a massive thing that I stole from a kingmaker, that I stole from Kingmaker, where he was going to slam his fists into the ground and break and, 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 and basically. Wait, hold on. You stole my, like, I'm... level seven boss monster gonna... move. By the way, did you know that that level 7 boss mo uh, monster move is actually a barbarian move that you can do? <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, and then he had that uh, and then he had that uh, passive skill where it was like, hey, you come into contact of... You come within a certain range of uh, things, you know? Blah. <laughs> we leave the dungeon, there is a secret place that I do want everyone to see because I'm going to be a nice GM and yeah. Go get it. Well, I want to see these nuts. Take, take 20 on perception to notice secret things. Exactly. <laughs> you notice the little secret compartment up here, and you basically just have to pass a five strength test to break the wall and get into it. Oh, wait. I, I got this, guys. I can do this. No, I got this. No, no. I got this. Nat no. no. 20s on his strength test. <laughs> hey, look at that. You broke the wall. <laughs> Dr. Congratulations. Just barely. Inside. Inside, because there was going to be some traps if everyone wasn't already trying to... 
if there was going to be a couple traps. But one thing about this is there are no traps in these chests anymore because the gods have d disabled them all. Inside inside two of the back chests, you find two repair patterns. Inside the middle chest, you find a th you find a hundred gold each. Inside of the two top chests, each one of you finds a unique you finds a wep finds a unique weapon. Make said weapon as you see fit. Don't make it overpowered though. Oh. Wait, are we talking about uh, like an enchanted weapon, and then of your choice? Uh, plus, what were we talking like masterwork plus two, or like? I think that's uh, just gonna be something that we're gonna have to talk to him about over the. This is okay. This is gonna be basically these weapons that you're gonna be making is just gonna be a masterwork, just a masterwork plus one. That's it. Oh, uh, so dang, enchanted or no, enchanted? We don't get no enchants. <laughs> Cause you're gonna be kidding, you nerds. I will allow a very low level enchant. So you say uh, uh, pretty much every enchant's just like a plus one bonus. Okay. Well, then I will allow. Then I will allow only one plus one bonus. Okay, because like there's you know there's keen and then there's like all the ones that add like at one uh, d6 acid damage, one d6 fire. There's all that shit. There's the ones that. Uh, Keen and crit doubles crit range. That that's just amazing. Which is what I'm gonna take. Uh, then there's a. Uh, is the there's the one that like doubles uh, critical multiplier, isn't there? I'm probably gonna find that one uh, thing that fires vermin at people, just so I could be fired at people. Oh yeah, you ha uh, can you uh, you can use um you can use like ranged weapons, can you? I cannot, but other people could shoot me. Okay, so before we all <laughs> head off, there is one more thing I want to do. I want to get you introduced to the town, and I want to get this encounter out because I uh, do want I do want everyone to see this encounter. I, I think that we should probably wrap it up here. This is a nice wrap up time. Blah. Okay, fine. Uh, here I am thinking I need to freaking program an entire new freaking thing.